TruckWin does have an option when you are paying an accounts payable vendor um, for any type of repairs, you can automatically link that invoice into the maintenance portion of dispatch and I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to go to accounts payable and I want to do process invoices and I'll choose from my drop down and we'll say I have an invoice for some tires, so big tires. And I'll add a new invoice and I'll put in my invoice number and the date of the invoice and I'm going to hit OK. And just how I would normally enter in an invoice, I'm going to click over here in the grid. It's going to ask me if I want to add an invoice detail. Yes, I do. It's going to pull my default account across, which 5070 is your tire account by default in your chart of accounts, so that's correct. And we'll do quantity one, and we'll say our bill is for $654. Now this section over here, this is where we tie that into maintenance. So you're going to see a T and an L. If I click the drop down there, you can see T is for tractor, L is for trailer, so I'm going to choose tractor. Once I do that, the next one says ID number, so it's going to show me the tractor IDs I have set up. So I'm going to choose the tractor that these tires belong to. The maintenance code is going to tie into your maintenance code that you already have set up and there should be one here for tires. And I go past it. And in my list I have the tires separated out like FLT is front left tire so I'm going to choose that. And then any comments if you want to give any comments you can put those there. And next I'll enter the due date. We'll say it's due today, which is a week later. And I'm going to hit save and post. And I'm going to go ahead and post this through so I can show you the end result. So I'm going to choose yes to go ahead and post this. I'm going to post it to GL. And it's been posted successfully. And now I'm going to go ahead and issue the payment for it. So I'll do a handwritten check since I'm not going to actually print a check out for it. So I'll enter in my check number and do post checks now. Okay, so now I have moved that invoice all the way through accounts payable and we're going to go take a look at maintenance and see how that shows up for you. So I'm going to exit out of accounts payable and in dispatch I'm going to go under equipment and I tied that to a tractor so I'm going to go to maintenance log tractor and if I had a bunch I could do specific tractor and look at just tractor 100 but you're going to see right here this is what came across from accounts payable so it says FLT which is front left tire done yes and it gives me the date that it was done which was my invoice date and the cost and invoice number and the shop name that that came from. So now when I hit a report, or sorry, a print to see my report, it's included in my maintenance report. So that's a way if you have to pay a um, shop as a vendor and accounts payable, you can save yourself some time by linking that repair into the maintenance so you don't have to manually come in and enter that in.